overflows. Life is light. In the barren soils of thy inner sanctum, in the barren soils of thy inner sanctum, oft do I use the manure of compassion. Then one day, seed of awakening I sow. With the rain of thy infinite bliss, the seed shall sprout one day, and then reckoning shall reap the fruits at the dawn of new awakening and then reckoning shall reap the fruits at the dawn of new awakening indeed life is light but life is the seed it comes as a seed light is the flowering is the blossoming but this happens only when love preaches. Love is unseen but realized truth. Love is the language in which life expresses itself, flows in the language of love to become light. Nivedita, you have asked me to give a message as blessings for the readers. You are right. In one way to ask this, in another way, the entire script as it was spoken to you is blessing to each one of you. This is how all scriptures, Buddhist, Upanishads, etc. began. The master addresses one such person who is asking the questions and seeking transformation and through that seeker the message is for those for all those who are on path beyond time and space various questions that you have asked are indeed the questions of each one of the readers. You had the courage to ask such personal questions related to various aspects of life and living, while many never gather courage from this point of view. This work, your effort, will help any sincere seeker it reminds me of the questions that were asked by Shiva, the questions that were asked by Devi, the concert of Shiva in Vigyan Bhairav Tantra and the language of Vigyan Bhairav Tantra is the, the language of love. Lovingly, Devi asked the questions and in response to each question, Shiva gives a technique. Do this and you shall know it. This is how the scripture comes. In Prashnopanishad, six teachers, they approach Lord Parmesti the Supreme Master, each one of them had a question and the Master says, you have to remain in this environment for one year and after that you have to flow into the very atmosphere that is around this place. After one year, if I fail to answer your questions, I will otherwise not. This is how it happens. The seeker asks the questions. Remember the seeker is coming from a different environment, different conditionings. 
egocentric identities and that is not the environment where the message of the awakened ones can sink into you. So when you are living in the company of the master, this is the way it has been in all the traditions. Whether it is Sufi path or Zen or that of Upanishads or Tao. This is how it happens. In Sufi path, the disciple comes and stays with the master, spends time. The master may be a cobbler, may be in a particular profession. During that stay, there is no talk of spirituality, nothing. The seeker simply remains watching the master, doing whatever assistance he can provide, and in that the inner soil is prepared, and in that the seed of awakening can be planted one day. Buddha said the same thing to Mahakashyap when he came. He had questions. Buddha told him the same thing. You have to stay here. And after one year, if I feel to answer your questions, I will. In the same commune, on the Avant Pindika, there were other monks, Sariputra, Mudgalyam, Purn, they were sitting under the other trees. Sariputra began to laugh. And this drew the attention of Mudgalyam. This drew the attention of Mahakashyap. He asked, why is he laughing? Buddha said, ask him. Sariputra said, one year ago when I came, Buddha told me the same thing. And now, after spending one year in his company, the questions have dissolved. There is no question. Instead, there are answers. The environment that is around the master, it prepares the soil. And the soil, when it is prepared, it is fertilized. And in the fertilized soil alone, this seed of awakening can be planted. The seed of awakening is not an ordinary seed. It is of a hybrid quality. It is of a hybrid quality. Devi asks, Shiva, what is thy reality? What is this wonderful universe? What constitutes the seed? What constitutes the seed? Understand the language. What constitutes the seed? It is not an ordinary seed that can be planted. So first the soil has to be prepared. When a disciple comes in the company of the master, his soil, inner soil is prepared. Various chapters got carefully woven into a script. Thus, your effort through this work shall remain a classic in times to come. Life, love and light are three dimensions of the process of living. Life is the beginning. Through birth, journey of life begins for transformation. It is just the beginning. Love comes into life as unseen but realized truth. Love alone is God, also godly. Love comes as awareness, as wisdom. Love helps to live life in harmony, 
synergistic harmony with the entire creation, sentient and insentient, the stars, the moon, the sun, you learn to take from existence only that which is necessary for you. You are living in and out of your essential nature, living out of your innocence, life of harmony, showering bliss, each finite moment through each circumstance or situation. One day this harmony and oneness explodes into light. Dawn of awakening surrounds you as awakening, as enlightenment. The journey is long and the path is arduous. However, when you are within the energy field of the awakened one, the journey gains momentum and your path becomes easy. You start seeing and experiencing as if miracles are happening in your life. Continue the process. Life will be a blessing and bliss shall shower as myriad flowers. Season of spring has come. You not only understand, instead start living in harmony guided by your center. Life just is a flow you know now. Just as river rivers, so too your life flows to merge in the unknown ocean of bliss, bottomless abyss. Such is the beauty of the mysterious mysteries of life. Life is the only true scripture, undefined and unwritten. Learn to read bliss will overflow. Now, how the soil is prepared? Many things have to be added. First, the environment around the awakened one, then simple things. It is like tuning in the orchestra on a stage. There are various musical instruments. There is vocalist. There are instruments that can be categorized as percussion instrument, bellow instrument, wind instrument, string instrument. Percussion instrument is the most basic. Then comes bellow instrument. Then comes the wind instrument. Last comes the stringed instruments. These are all tuned to one tune. And in harmonizing, in tuning all the orchestra, the entire orchestra, bellow instrument is used to tune. Sitar, the stringed instrument, be it guitar, be it sitar or anything else, it is tuning with bellow instrument on one note. Sometimes we use single stringed instrument also as the tuning instrument. Human life, your body is a musical orchestra. Various parts of your body, certain parts are of the nature of the percussion, then bellow, then wind, then a stringed instrument. This process, how the soil is fertilized and what constitutes the seed, what is the nature of the seed and how you can have a hybrid seed, this will continue enough for now.